I'm outside um, Amazon, located here in Romulus, Michigan. You can take a look at this place. It's pretty big, 850,000 square feet. Over 1,500 employees work inside here at Amazon. This is one of the newer facilities here in Romulus, Michigan. Uh, it's starting in 2020, the Global African Business Association is going to matriculate into the city of Romulus, which is next door to Inkster, Michigan. This is the home of Detroit Metropolitan Airport, Amazon, back, which is behind me, as well as other, and General Motors, as well as other logistical hubs. Uh, the reason why we're coming to Romulus um, starting in 2020 is because of the advent of the African Continental Free Trade Area and the African Growth Opportunity Act. Those are two important um, move, those are two important initiatives um, one by the United States, the other by the African Union, that GABA is going to have to leverage in terms of logistics and imports and exports. And because Romulus is already a, a gateway city with the airport being here, we want to make sure that we have a stake in this. Now, what I would like to show you, um, we're on the western end of Amazon. What I want to show you next is all this land that Romulus offer. Take a look at this. And I don't know how many acres of land is that, but that's enough to uh, do um, agribusiness, uh, hydroponics. Um, that's enough to do manufacturing, heavy manufacturing, light manufacturing, advanced manufacturing. Um, and this has all been zoned for EB-5 and uh, Opportunity Zone. Right now we're here on Vining Road that's the western that's the western part of uh, the Amazon facility here in Romulus, Michigan. Romulus 36 square miles, 23,000 residents. It's 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 a it's half black, half white city. Um, unlike Inkster, which is about 75 to 80% um, African American, um, actually Inkster is the largest African American uh, population outside of Detroit and Wayne County, and Romulus come behind that. But if you look at all this land here that Romulus have over here, you can see the potential for foreign investors from Sub-Saharan Africa linking the wealth between here in the state of Michigan and their respective places back home. Okay, now we're at the corner of um, Vining Road over here in Wick. Um, now this area, I'm gonna show you this right here. In the back of this Amazon straight ahead, I'm gonna show you this. We're still in the city of Romulus. Now this area here, has been zoned as an entertainment district. This area right here, Vining and Wick, you can take a look at this. It's been zoned as an entertainment district or an entertainment zone. That's in the Romulus master plan. The problem has been who to get developers to come out and develop this area as a entertainment district. Across the street, uh, you go further down there is I-94. You have the interstate highway that's connecting Port Huron through Chicago by way of Detroit. And then, so you have, you have interstate commerce there for trucking and uh, transportation logistics. And then on the other side is the airport. So the ideal is for the city of Romulus, they're going, well, how do we create an entertainment district? But this whole area here has been zoned for entertainment. As you can see, there's nothing out here because uh, originally they was going to bring a racino out here. Racino is a, is a race course and casinos. Uh, the, the casinos in Detroit, which is MGM, Motor City, and Greektown, they killed that idea. Then there was going to be an aero park out here, part of the Aerotropolis project. Uh, that died on the table as well, so it's just barren land. Good potential for EB-5 investors. Good potential for Opportunity Zone in, um, investors. Good um just good investment for African investors who want to come in. The land is for sale. I know CBRE is, is um, uh, listing the property. I don't know how much it costs. I don't have that information right now. But this is a good, good opportunity for Africans to invest. And if we go further down um, Wick Road, um, that's where all the hotels are at. The Sheraton, Holiday Inn, um, all those hotels are down at the end of this road here. Of course, so if you have hotels, 
in the airport across the across the interstate highway they want to create an and this is all zoned already uh as entertainment uh within their master plan okay so we're across i-94 now it's freeway you have rail so the rail lines um which is important when you're looking at moving commerce uh, imports, exports, international goods. You have a rail line and an interstate highway there. And then over here, you got the grand prize over here of Romulus, which is the uh, Detroit Metropolitan Airport, which is a Delta and a Spirit Hub. Most people don't know that Spirit Airlines started in Macomb County back in the, in, back in the early 80s. Now, the key thing about... Um, Detroit Metropolitan Airport, even though it's a very important aviation hub here in the state of Michigan, uh, what most people don't know unless you live here is that it's controlled by the Wayne County Airport Authority. And what the Wayne County Airport Authority uh, is, is separate from the city of Romulus. So the city of Romulus cannot collect taxes on the airport for, for development purposes. Uh, it's two separate governmental entities um, that was established back in 2003. Um, was it 2003 or 2001? Uh, with that airport authority. So the airport authority controls DTW, which is over there, and also Willow Run Airport, which is further down the road, uh, which I've shown you guys before about Willow Run Airport and uh, American Center for Mobility, where they're testing the autonomous vehicles uh, right there at Willow Run Airport. That's the old GM plant. But this is the pride and joy of Romulus right here. Uh, any, this is, where, this is where the world begins, uh, right here at Detroit Metropolitan Airport. You can see that right there. We're talking about building aviation, aerospace engineering, uh, connecting African wealth uh, between the airport and here in the city of Romulus and Inkster. This is one of the main hubs we take a look at. All right, this part of Romulus outside the airport is very important. If you look across the street there, that's called the Metro Airport Center. That's a foreign trade zone. Now, most Africans and even African-Americans don't know what a foreign trade zone is. I'll go ahead and briefly explain what that is. Foreign trade zones um, pretty much work like this. You know, you bring, you import products from Africa, whether it's Nigeria or Ghana, Senegal, and you have a warehouse, and you move those products into your warehouse. As if it's a designated as a sub or a main or sub foreign trade zone, it, um, the products don't get taxed. The products don't get taxed um, in terms of um, tariffs until it hits the retail market, okay? So it's kind of almost like a tax shelter. Um, however, what's good about a foreign trade zone in AGOA, if, you're an, if you are an AGOA nation, African Growth Opportunity Act um, nation uh, with the United States, like Senegal and Nigeria, um, those imports that you get, that we're going to get here in the city of Romulus in a facility like this, we're going to be tariff exempt because we're in, we're we're part of a Goa. So when you're looking at the African Continental Free Trade Area, and you're looking at a Goa, and you're looking at GABA, leveraging those two, uh, we create a, a very harmonious uh, effort to empower Africans throughout the diaspora. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're down here in downtown Romulus. Again, Romulus is um, 36 square miles, 23,000 residents. Uh, plenty of land. If you want to do farming here, you can do it here. Logistics, aviation, all based right here in the city of Romulus. Uh, look, you can look at their downtown. It's not big at all. Um, they do have a downtown, unlike Inkster, what doesn't have a downtown. Landing Strip, you know what that is. That's an uh, adult entertainment um, joint. They still have a bank uh, here in Romulus. Inkster doesn't have a bank. They have Comerica. Oh, let's go across the street to the uh, supermarket. Uh, we're going to we're gonna walk across the street here uh, to the local supermarket here. Inkster has one supermarket on, on the north side. Um, Romulus, let's go inside here to the supermarket. Oh my goodness gracious. Lord have mercy. The supermarket is closed. Gee whiz. Damn, that sounds like an opportunity, doesn't it? <laughs> well, here's the problem. Within the master plan, Romulus doesn't have a supermarket. They don't have a grocery store in this city. In a city of 36 square miles, there's no grocery store. So what I'm saying to you guys is, 
if you're from Senegal, you're from Nigeria, you're from um, Tanzania, uh, you're from um, 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 South Africa, and you're looking to invest in something like a grocery store, this is a place you can possibly invest as a grocery store or anywhere in the city of Romulus. People got to go out to Belleville to go to Meyer and Walmart or Taylor to Meyer and Walmart, and it doesn't make any sense. And they haven't had a grocery store here for quite some time. So, you know, even though this is downtown Romulus, uh, one of the biggest attractions is the lack of a grocery store. And this is another opportunity for African investors to come into a city like Romulus to invest in a grocery store, amongst other things here. All right, so we're in front of the Romulus Chamber of Commerce building. They actually have a building located here on Shook and Bibbins Road in Romulus, Michigan, in their downtown area. They actually have an actual building. They're not like um, Inkster Chamber of Commerce where they, you know, they just meet at different places. They actually have invested in their own building where they meet at. Um, this is important, especially when you're looking at new businesses coming into the city of Romulus. Uh, most likely GABA will most likely have to work with the, um, the Greater Romulus Chamber of Commerce uh, get to know the people, get to know some of the business owners, and, and help facilitate new businesses coming into this area. Also across the street is their senior, their senior center. Romulus has a senior center. It's not like the Dozier Center in Inkster. They have a brand new facility for seniors to just go someplace and just have a good time. All right, so we're back in the, um, we're back in the Metro, foreign, um, Metro uh, Trade Center. Um, right here in Romulus, Michigan. You see that where it says uh, Detroit uh, Region Aerotropolis. So Aerotropolis is, is, a, is a designated area where you could do economic development that's, uh, that is centered around an airport. And that was a concept that uh, former Wayne County, Michigan executive Robert Facano came up with because of the proximity of the airport, which is down the street there, um, it's close to China. And so he wanted to develop an aerotropolis uh, between Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties uh, where it could spur economic development and all these things. So it was a big idea at one point. I know I wrote a couple articles about it. Uh, never got off the ground. And when they rebranded re the aerotropolis, they kind of kept it in this area here uh, for centralized businesses. This is still a foreign trade zone. Um, again, a foreign trade zone is very... Uh, powerful and a very powerful tool of economic incentives, especially when you're trying to import goods uh, from Sub-Saharan Africa. So you can see over there trucking, logistics, uh, any transportation logistics. Think, just let me just give you an example. Let's say, for instance, uh, we had a, um, a warehouse here where we're importing um, five. So uh, you can hear the, you can hear the jet around me. Uh, where you where you imported five uh, to ten tons of cassava um, here to the state of Michigan, and we needed to warehouse that space, and so you warehouse the, the raw cassava. Uh, it's tariff is 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 tariff exempt because of a goa, and you have trucks that can get that cassava to any African food store anywhere in the um, anywhere in the United States, definitely the Midwest. Um, oftentimes, um, African food owners, African uh, market owners here in Metro Detroit, they got to go all the way to Chicago to get their, their resources from a hub, from a Hispanic or an Arab. Uh, can you imagine an African actually doing this right here in the city of Romulus and using it as a regional hub that includes Inkster, Detroit, uh, Ypsilanti, and places like that? That's what we're trying to do in GABA. And I want you to understand the importance of linking the wealth uh, between Agoa and the African uh, continental free trade area. This is part of all this uh, is part of the fourth industrial revolution because with all this logistics and stuff that I've been discussing uh, within this particular video, uh, we also have to you also have to include e-commerce and technology as, as well. So, okay, over here is the Romulus. Um, athletic center. This is the rec center here for the city of Romulus. Uh, I've been in there many times. I'm pretty sure you've been in there many times. State-of-the-art facility, 21st century base, nothing like the Dozier Center in Inkster, which is outdated. Uh, Dozier Center in Inkster don't even have Wi-Fi. Um, this place has Wi-Fi, state-of-the-art 
Um, we could do parties here. We could do meetings. We could do events. Um, we can do uh, many things here, um, or the fraction of a cost. Uh, if we wanted to put, if we wanted to bring uh, Ambassador Albert Muchanga uh, here, we could put him. We could put him right there at the rec center to discuss the importance of the African continental free trade area. Uh, if we wanted to bring Ambassador Quayle uh, from the African Union Mission from Washington D.C. here, we could do the same thing as here. So what I'm trying to help people understand is. Even though we're doing a lot of great works in Inkster, we're going to continue to do a lot of great works. Got a brand new library being built in Inkster. You need to understand uh, some of the flexibility that GABA needs now because of the African Continental Free Trade Area and the African Growth Opportunity Act. Those are very two, those are two uh, important initiatives. I know I haven't talked about Prosper Africa. Uh, I'll talk about that in a few minutes. All right, so right here, we're in front of Penske. Penske Logistics. Now that building over there is Penske. You got trucks, you can see uh, tr uh, transportation logistics. And you know, there's plenty of, and these, and these type of facilities are all over Romulus. Um, trucks, 24 hours a day, come in and out, go anywhere in the United States. Can you imagine uh, packaging cassava, um, a, a goosey, and you know, all these other African products um, in a logistical warehouse there? And then you put, up, you put them on a truck and you send them anywhere in the United States, straight from Romulus. So you can create an African hub here in this city because the city is designed for logistics, unlike Inkster. It's designed for logistics as it pertains to AGOA and the African Growth Opportunity Um, Excuse me, not AGOA. AGOA, African Growth Opportunity Act, and, African, and the African Continental Free Trade Area. Now, one thing I have not discussed is... is um, Prosper Africa. Now, Prosper Africa is an initiative by Trump, President Trump, to move uh, a free market system uh, to Africa. So there are a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies, a lot of uh, businesses that want to do business in Africa. Uh, the problem is, is that Africans and African Americans, Caribbean people, have been left out of that conversation. And so how can you talk about Prosper Africa with white businesses and you leave and, and doing business in Africa and you leave us out. That doesn't make any sense. So there are some discussions going on underway with that uh, through the U.S. Commercial Services as well as um, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> It'll come to me in a minute. Um, but U.S. Commercial Services and some other entities in D.C., um, they're, they're on top of that to make sure that uh, black people here have a voice in Prosper Africa. But black folks, you know, own and operate logistics, supply chain. Um, you can see this right over here, uh, huge warehouse, trucking, okay? Everything is supply chain and that links up with manufacturing and other supply chains to keep jobs in the city, uh, create a robust tax base and things of that nature. We're sitting here in front of the farmer's market here in Romulus. Um, no politics involved, unlike Inkster. Um, no politics involved. Um, you know, cock blocking us from bringing the Easter market. This is the farmer's market. So we're at the corner of Middle Belt and um, Eureka Road here in Romulus, Michigan. Can you imagine bringing cassava here? Um, the goosey on um, other, other African products um, here um, from the continent of Africa, from Nigeria, for example, and just bringing it to the farmer's market. A lot of stuff is Michigan homegrown, however. Um, however, we do have a stake, and this is one of the things that Global African Business Association pays attention to. Uh, we don't have to go through uh, fighting the mayor like we did in Inkster to put a farmer's, uh, bring a food truck uh, to the city. Now he wants to do a farmer's market because he wants his uh, stamp of approval on it and all that nonsense. Uh, we just, in GABA, we just don't have time to fight people. Either you're going to work with us or not. So this has already been established. It's always established. It's open during the season, uh, mostly the summer seasons. You can get your corn, your produce, rice, whatever, um, right here at, the, at this farmer's market located right here at Middle Belt and uh, Eureka Road. So we're at, um, right outside DTW, that's Detroit Metropolitan Airport, another logistical hub. 
we should be able to we should be able to move uh, the world by trucks, by transportation, logistics, rail, bus. Um, we should be able to do that here in Romulus. And if we're going to set up, and again, I'm going to say this again for the record, we're not deserting Inkster, no matter who wins the election. Uh, we're not deserting Inkster. We still have, um, we're still vested in the city of Inkster, especially with neighborhood re redevelopment and neighborhood revitalization. We have to do our due diligence in that city because we have built so much, we have built name recognition in the city of Inkster for the past five years. And when I go give presentations about uh, GABA, I use Inkster as a testing ground and as an example of the good things that we've done as an organization, as an association. So we're, we're vested in Inkster, so we can't give Inkster up. However, what the African Growth Opportunity Act, AGOA, and the African Continental Free Trade Area at Prosper Africa, with those three initiatives, we now have to take a look at what Inkster don't have. Inkster doesn't have a school district, an autonomous school district. Romulus does. Um, Inkster doesn't have manufacturing. Romulus does. Inkster doesn't have a supply chain. Romulus does. Um, aviation. Romulus have aviation. Uh, trucking and transportation logistics. Romulus have that all over the city. Vast land where we can put uh, hydroponics, agriculture, business, and technology. Um, schools. Um, when you're looking at the entertainment district, I and mean, we're looking at investors uh, who want us to get here on an EB-5 uh, investor visa or using opportunity funds here in Romulus to develop and using their money as a tax shelter. Romulus is going to be the place to be. And so when you're looking at um, housing stock uh, compared to Inkster, Romulus have a higher housing stock. Um, Inkster um, unemployment rate is 14 percent. I think Romulus is something like eight or nine percent. Um, when you're looking at poverty rates, Inkster is at 40 percent. Romulus is at uh, 18 percent. So, I mean, people are working out here. Um, so the, the demographics favor uh, attracting uh, young African families to the city of Romulus. Um, and, and, and therefore, no, no grocery store in the city of Romulus. I showed you that earlier. That's a, op that's a huge opportunity. You can do a traditional grocery store uh, with, with trucking. Um, bringing your stuff to the grocery store, or you could do that with an Af with an African market or a co-op. Um, again, can you do these things in Inkster? Absolutely. However, when you're looking at a logistics, a logistical hub, Romulus is it. And so, all I'm saying is, uh, as you have, I'm going to go ahead and conclude. Um, we are going to expand in the city of Romulus um, by 2020. Um, we're going to have a footprint here uh, by 2020 and really establish ourselves as a force to be reckoned with uh, by 2020. I want to have um, start going to more city council meetings and um, they're going, to our going to their downtown development authority meetings, as well as sitting down with the mayor just to get a feel for him and see what we can do here. Our good, uh, our good friend, uh, Michigan State Senator Erica Geis is the state senator here in the city of Romulus. Um, so we definitely have an ally with her uh, as well as uh, as well as um, Michigan State Representative Alex Garza and a couple of those key stakeholders um, that we can turn to um, to really get this thing going. We do, just to be, just to be clear, uh, we do have some things underway with GABA. Um, a couple of us are, are, work, are looking at uh, ways to import export between the city of Romulus and um, city of Romulus and, uh, so, and places like Nigeria. Those conversations are underway. We're looking at warehousing. We're looking at, we already have uh, one person who has a trucking company that wants to come on board with GABA uh, and really help us. Uh, so this thing is moving fast. So we're not playing on games or anything. This is not um, something that we take very lightly. Um, we're not traditional business or chamber of commerces uh, where we get all these members uh, to come to a chicken dinner, um, to come and, and sit and listen to a good speech and uh, take a bunch of photo ops with a bunch of politicians we don't roll like that in GABA. We're a working organization. We're not noisemakers. Uh, we'll make those relationships and build those relationships. But at the end of the day, my concern is always STEM, um, career technical education, or, or what you guys call vocational education, to give people the skill set they need to not only, um, not only get a job, but also be entrepreneurial 
and create jobs for the community for a robust tax base. So I'm in right here. Hope you had a uh, hope this has been very educational. I'd like to hear your feedback.